I'm taking a real close look. I'm taking a real close look of who has a Zempic face at the Academy Awards. I see a Zempic face at the Academy Awards. Come on in, everybody. The show's about to begin. Did you guys, did you guys see any Ozempic face at the Academy Awards? Because that's the real game of the night. Woo! Come on in, honey. It's time for the Total Trash Live Academy Awards Ozempic Recap, sponsored by Ozempic. And I see Charlie, and I see Linda, and I see Sam, and I see Rachel, and they have a Zempic face. You saw a Costa Rican lizard in your bed? Keep bragging. Did you guys watch the Academy Awards where you live in? Did everybody you want to win, win, and everybody you wanted to lose, lose? Who was best dressed? Who was worst dressed? Who was Ozempic dressed? I heard a rumor that there was an Ozempic party in the bathroom and people were, the Academy Award girls and boys were going in there. Hi, you guys. And I heard there was people at the Academy Awards at the Dolby Theater getting shot up with Ozempic. It's the hottest new drug in town. We're not there for diabetes, honey. They're there to lose weight. Hugh Grant was on Ozempic. Honey, did you see? Hey girl, did you guys, did you guys see um, Hugh Grant, the controversy with Hugh Grant, that he was rude to that um, woman interviewing him? I didn't think he was that rude, I just thought he was being like Hugh Grant, and he's being weird and British. Not that British people are weird, unless you're Camilla Parker Bowes. Oh, living for Gaga in a tea, were you, Jimmy? Were you living for her screaming and jeans with holes in them? Put some patches on those jeans and shut the hell up. What is with people wearing jeans with holes in them? I mean, I wear jeans with holes in them. But I wouldn't wear jeans with holes in them to the Academy Awards. This is all Meghan Markle's fault. And by the way, it's always Meghan Markle's fault. But Meghan Markle wore ripped jeans when she met Prince William and Kate Middleton for the first time. And no shoes. Put some shoes on. Patch up those jeans. Put it together. I like to um, thank the Academy. He was a pill. Honey, look at this. Everybody, everybody who's anybody and nobody who nobody and everything everywhere all at once was at the Academy Awards. Um, now... First of all, everything, everywhere, all at once. Now, they won Best Picture. Did you guys see? I didn't even see that movie. But when everybody, asked, like, you know, in Hollywood, they love to ask you, they always ask me, what are you working on? So now I can just say everything, anywhere, all at once. So what's new? What's your next project? Everything, anywhere, everywhere, all at once. <laughs> Yeah, so what's what's up? What have you been up to? Everything, anywhere, everywhere, I know where other ones. Honey, did you see the whale? Everything, anywhere, everywhere, other ones. I want to thank the Academy for everything, anywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Oh, honey, I didn't see that movie, but I saw Creed 3 twice. That equals 6. 2 times 3 is 6. I know math because I'm not an Ozempic. Because I have the brain cells. Thank you. Now, I live in Hollywood, which is why I have this Academy Award. But also, my daughter Lumina and my co-host was went to the Academy Awards and she just came back to the after party. She was at the Vanity Fair party. How was it, girl? Were you living? She ever since ever since she's come to Amer um, Earth, honey, she's a party girl. And she lives to party. <gasps> My 
my God. She said she made out with Selma Hayek. You're a bad girl. Selma Hayek is married to that really rich. No, you're a good girl. I mean, get in her good graces. We need that money. Get that money. Everything, anywhere, everywhere, all at once. We need that money. She lives at the after party. She works at the after party. Um, who do you think was best dressed? Ozempic? Who did you think was best bet? Isn't her wig like Breathless Mahoney? My favorite dress was Angela Bassett. Honey, poor Angela, poor Angela Bassett. They snubbed her for Jamie Lee Curtis. Well, of course, Jamie Lee Curtis' parents are Hollywood royalty. They're going to give it to Jamie Lee Curtis. But I love Angelina Bassett or Angela Bassett's um, dress. And poor, I lost my entire family. So she didn't win. But you know, I live in Hollywood. I live close to the Dolby Theater. And first of all, Hollywood, they never show how Hollywood really looks. Hollywood is a mess. It's dirty here. And did you see at the beginning of the show when they had the two fighter jets flying above for Top Gun? First of all, Tom Cruise wasn't at the show. He must have been up on that fighter jet. Well, right before the show started, I heard fighter jets above my house. And I said, oh my God, are these, is the government here to shoot down more balloons? Are they going to shoot down my Lumina? It was just it was just the Academy Awards with a prop. Angelina Jolie Bassett. Well, um, anyway, they they never show how Hollywood really looks because I was just in New York to see theater, and I saw Titanic. Have you seen Titanic? It's like a funny musical based on the movie Titanic. I loved it. Also, what's on the back of this? <laughs> this is the program for Titanic. But look at this. It's an um, advertisement for, um, mis it's called Mischief, free online prep. I mean, that, that musical gets you so horny, you want to start screwing right at the theater. You need your prep, honey. That, that musical turns you on. you got to find a boat to have sex on. Tom Cruise was in the seat. You just couldn't see him because he was small. I, I believe it, honey. You came for the alien baby? Well, here she is, honey, dressed in her finest Academy Awards attire. My Lumina is a Hollywood star. Now, um, of course, you know, this show is always sponsored by Ashton Drake. They make those wonderful real-life dolls. But this week, we have a special. This is a vintage 1995, 1994 Inquirer. And this is a Coca-Cola doll. Now, do you think, don't you think this kind of looks like me? Do you think this, do you think I used to be a doll and I was brought to life? Don't you think this doll looks like me? When I was a child, my mother dressed me up as this and took pictures of me. Maybe I was a doll that was brought to life and that's why I like dolls. Anyway, isn't this gorgeous? This is a Coca-Cola doll. I'm Coca-Cola. I'm so sweet and sugary. And I'm, I'm like, American is apple pie. Look at this doll. He doesn't even have a name. He's just a Coca-Cola doll. From the, from the Franklin Heirloom Dolls Collection. That's me. I just need a little bow tie. Honey, is she looking at herself from the past? Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Is she me? Who is she? Honey, we've got to get to these tabloids. There's some really good ones, especially this week, where, honey, they say it's over for Benefer. They say it's over for Benefer, and honey, let's hope so. Because I've, about, I've had about had it the first time. Oh, thank you. We've got to get to some good dish, but I'm not done talking about the Academy Awards. Now, um, everyone, they kept talking about that slap from last year with Will Smith. Help her. Help her. And, honey, I was hoping that something else would happen. I want a cat fight between two women, and I want them to roll down the, the stairs. Or I wanted the set to collapse. 
They should have had something. They've got to do something every year to keep that drama up. Because that show is real boring. I mean, nothing happened. Where was the star power? Where was Lonnie Anderson? Where was she? Where was she? Where was she? Where was Joan Collins? Where was she? Where was she? I need star power. We had Michael B. Jordan, honey. But they should have kept bringing him back out in a revolving door. There was no star power there. We asked, where was the stars? Where was the violence? Oh, God. Yeah, but um, they need to show that L.A. is a mess, honey, because I was in New York, and New York is clean. Although when I landed at JFK Airport in New York, I was wearing my mask because I'm safe, and the numbers are always up. Well, I was walking out of the JFK airport and this guy is staring at me. Everyone's obsessed with me. But that's not that unusual. And all of a sudden I walk past him and he goes, nice diaper. And then I didn't really get it, but I knew like, oh, he's trying to be shady. He's trying to read. And then it was like, oh, I get it. It was because of my mask. Those ding-dongs, those conservatives, those Trumpsters, things that they, they have, first of all, they always have the worst insults. Somebody needs to teach them how to read. Because they're trying to say nice diaper, as if it's like weak because I wear a mask. I, and I wanted to turn around and say, I'm wearing a mask because I'm a celebrity. I'm, I'm Michael Jackson. And if you ever need to get reservations in New York for a, a dinner for a, a, a really high-end restaurant, just call up and say, um, you're put it under the name Michael Jackson. It still works. And so that stupid person had to insult me because I'm wearing a mask. And, and then they don't want people to wear wigs. They don't want drag. First of all, what's considered drag? A wig or makeup or a dress? They don't want people to wear um, like drag and they don't want people to wear masks. Like I'm supposed to take fashion advice from these ding-dongs? What do you want me to wear? Dockers? Tacky? Go to hell. Oh, I'm so mad about it. But New York is cleaner than Hollywood. That's the whole point of the story. There was a park over here that was full of transients, honey, and they were eating the ducks in the park. Why isn't that at the Hollywood um, Oscars? Also, where they hold the Oscars, it's at Highland and Hollywood. Um, that Dolby Theater has a Dave and Buster's. And on Wednesdays, the, it's half off. Why wasn't that? Why wasn't anything at the, Dol the Dave and Buster's? It's not the real Hollywood, the Oscars. I'm going to tell you and show you the real Hollywood. I'm real. Like Benifer. Oh my God, it's 7 o'clock. Let's see what Inside Edition has on. I'm sure it's nothing crazy. Every morning, Joseph DeRuvo heads out to his local bakery. Nothing out of the ordinary in that. But look at his feet. He's not wearing any shoes. Anything else? No, that's it. In fact, he hasn't worn shoes in 20 years. He even runs barefoot. Oh, he God. Subway barefoot. Oh. So why did Is that Lady Gaga? Shoes? Is that Meghan Markle? Painful, inoperable bunions. Being barefoot just allows me to go through my life without the shoes hurting. Honey, cut off the bunion. Make an appointment. Cut it off. Okay? Or just... Just get like a butcher knife and chop it off, but no shoes. First of all, he's just using that as an excuse, the bunions. She doesn't want to wear those. She doesn't want to wear shoes because she thinks she's earthy and she thinks she's better than everybody. Like Meghan Markle. It's very Britney Stoker 2007. Is, was Mindy Kaling on Ozempic? Honey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to that later. I want Funyuns. I do too, girl. You know his feet smell like Funyuns. Disgusting. Walking around with no shoes on. Isn't that illegal? You can get ringworm. She doesn't care about ringworm. Bunions. What a bunion baby. It's in, it's un, it's, it is inoperable. Go to a cobbler and get a custom made pair. Thank you. Are we the only ones with any sense in this world? Disgusting. What more does he have to say? The 59-year-old Pilates instructor goes Pilates. even in the dead of winter near his home in Connecticut. Oh, my God. Get some like slippers. This. Still no desire to get warm, cover up your feet. Oh, no, no, no. I've been feeling the ground. 
uh, it, it, it suits me. And if he gets invited to a formal event like a wedding? They're friends and they're inviting us. I mean, they know who I am. I mean, you know. Yeah, you're a ding, you're a ding dong with no, you're a ding dong with no shoes. First of all, you're not invited to anything. No one's inviting you to a wedding. No one's inviting you to anything because you don't wear shoes. You don't wear shoes? Honey, people are getting mad at me because I'm wearing a mask and nobody's getting mad at him because he's not wearing shoes. I'm looking for some sense in this world. Near, far, wherever you are. What in the hell? Honey, these feet have come to life. First of all, Titanic was back in theaters this year. Why wasn't it nominated again for the Academy Awards? I love that movie, Titanic. And they're wearing shoes in it. Take your pills, honey. Anyway, now before we continue with the tabloids, I have something I wanted to show you. He's taking the no white shoes after Labor Day to an extra degree. Thank you. He's insane. You can't wear no shoes after Labor Day. Hasn't anybody told you fashion hasn't changed? What is this? Somebody is unhinged and askew. Honey, he's this, this person's unhinged and askew. Now, I have something that can, that can help all of us. I have a mechanism here that was sent to me by my friend, Preston. This can, when I watch the Academy Awards, this mechanism can spot anybody who is on Ozempic. Not for diabetes, for weight loss. And so now, I'm going to watch the Academy Awards, and I'm going to tell you who's on Ozempic. Are you guys ready? Hugh Grant is on Ozempic. Mindy Kaling is on Ozempic. The, um, er the entire cast of Everything, Everywhere, Anywhere, All at Once is, in, uh, is on Ozempic. Austin Butler is on uh, Ozempic, but Elvis is not. Tom Cruise is on Ozempic, and he's not wearing shoes. But he's not even there, but he's on the airplane. Dave and Busters is on Ozempic. Let's see here. The Oscar statue is on Ozempic. Lady Gaga's blue jeans are on Ozempic. Kate Blanchett is on Ozempic. And Will Smith's hand is on Ozempic. Isn't this miraculous? Let me see. I can tell who's on Ozempic watching me. You guys are such liars. You need to give me that Ozempic. You're holding out. I know somebody, I was following somebody here on Instagram and they were bragging that they got Ozempic. And I'm like, give it to me. Why is it so damn hard? Makes me so mad. I wasn't invited to any Academy Award parties and I didn't get Ozempic. What the hell do I live here for? Also, you know how they're having this drag ban. Let me tell you something. I was at two gay bars in New York City and there was drag shows there. And at one of them, there was a drag show on stage at the same time a RuPaul's Drag Race was on television. Calm down, wig, okay? That's why people want to drag, uh, ban drag shows. There's too many of them. And while you're at it, bear some stand-up comedy shows. There's too many of them. I once knew, that, uh, there was, I knew of a, of a stand-up comedy show in a laundromat. Honey, you're going to perform your five-minute set on a washer and dryer shut? Hi, I have a five-minute washer and dryer shut. Nobody needs to hear that. Nobody needs to hear that. Everybody needs to calm down. Okay? Calm down. But calm down, wig. The only one that should be in drag at the moment is my daughter, Lumina. She's in drag as a Hollywood um, um, earthling. Thank you. Lumina, are you on Ozempic? You look like you've lost weight. Are you holding out on me? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have shake, shaken, shaken my daughter. I just need that Ozempic. Somebody gonna give me that Ozempic? I'm sorry about that. You know what? 
I'm okay. Let's just get to these tabloids. Ben and Jen marriage disaster. Oh, honey, I could have told you that. Oh, this is great. There's a new, um, <laughs> there's a new pandemic happening, honey. Raquel Welch died bitter and hating men. Honey, I'm alive and I'm bitter and I hate men. Especially men that tell me, insult me that I'm wearing a mask. Dummy. Oh, God, what is this? Courtney Muff's vagina gummies. Disgusting. Shameless shrill Courtney Kardashian boasts her new vaginal gummies will improve the scent, taste, and health of lady parts. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be sick. Look at this. And she's eating one. This is absolutely disgusting. They should sell them at Dave and Buster's. Yes, she is crude and vulgar. She, uh, she supports freshness. Does this look like somebody that's fresh? That plastic face? Ah, oh, uh, a real Hollywood star, but he can't find a date. Honey, he's too busy flying around in that airplane. Trying to find aliens. Not my daughter. Not without my daughter. Marriage-minded Cher disowns kids. Look how happy she is. She's got a younger man. Sherrod's kids reportedly believe Aya is trying to cash in on their superstar mom's power and influence. Oh, do you believe in life after love? Come here. They've been dating since November, L starting a new life by casting out ingrate sons. Love struck Cher is plotting to elope with A.E. and a quickie Las Vegas wedding and cut her disapproving sons out of her $360 million fortune. Ah. Oh. The 76-year-old diva has convinced the music producer is the man she wants to spend the rest of her life with. Cher is so mad at them. She's ready to cut them out of her life completely. She's been hell bent on marrying this guy and speaking to lawyers about adjusting her will to make E.E. E. her sole beneficiary. Now, now, that sounds suspicious. Is he, like, hypnotizing her to get that money? He wants that money. They think he's playing her to cash in on her power and influence. Cher doesn't believe her sons should be counting her cash. It's that her primary focus. They can kiss the entire pile goodbye. Honey, he's kissing this goodbye. He's kissing that hello. She's happy. Ugh. Cher, keep it together. We can't lose you. Okay, here we go. America's hot war on space invaders. I told you they're coming. Did you hear on the news that there's a mothership? Jets blow three UFOs out of the sky as military braces for new assault. That's why my daughter is in disguise. They're after her. They shot down her balloon. Look at him. He's mad. He's shooting down aliens. Look, pilot has object in the, his sights. That's Lumina's family. ETs are testing us. Yeah, honey, they're giving us those Zempex so we can look more like them. Little bodies and big heads. This is all a plot. You don't, you don't think this Ozempic is just a coincidence, do you? This is them. They're trying to turn us into aliens, and you know what? I don't give a shit. Turn me into one. Here we go. Look at these ding-dongs. Benefer. JLo and Ben struggle to save marriage. Oh, honey, just give it up. Diva brags, blindsided Batman into counseling. Brooding Ben Affleck is suffering from a stubborn case of postnuptial depression and his exasperated bride, Jennifer Lopez, is so fed up with his moping around she's demanding they hire a therapist. We're gonna get a therapist! Waiting for tonight! Ben's unhappiness is mainly due to how controlling and rigid Jennifer is. Yeah, honey, she can't stop working. First of all, I knew something was wrong when they weren't at the Academy Awards. She'll go to anything. And look at these ugly tattoos. These tattoos are ugly. Ugly. They look like some sort of UFO hieroglyphic. And, that, and not in a good way. J-Lo's arrow runs through an infinity symbol. Yeah, honey, she's going to work and work forever. 
Ben's new tat has overlapping Cupid arrows and their initials. Benifer? He sh they just should have just wrote Benifer on their foreheads. Ben can't leave the house to run errands without Jennifer wanting to tag along. Yeah, because wor she's worried that he's going to go have sex with the other Jennifer. And then, of course, he has to wait to for her to get all dolled up because she always wants to look her very best in the public eye. He suffers through it, but he doesn't like it. His bored expression at the Grammys was a good example. Oh, my God. He looked... He, she even scolded him, demanding that he look more friendly and motivated. I might, he replied, which sparked a look at utter disgust from the Latina spitfire. One mental health expert, that's me, believes this is, this is a very tangible sign of Jen's manipulative ways. Well, she's a Leo and they're very manipulative. Sorry. Ben is dependent addict and Jennifer is a, in, a control freak who needs constant affirmation says Dr. Gil de Carlo, who has not treated the couple, or probably anybody. She probably doesn't exist, but I'll, I'll, I'll sign up for her. This is almost as though she's branding him as her property and sending a signal to the world that he belongs to her. Help her, which is ultimately a recipe for failure in a solid relationship. And there's no point, in, and she's not asking Ben at this point. She's telling him. Oh, honey, is, is any of this a surprise? I'm not surprised by any of this. Do you like my black gloves? Thank you. She can have him. He can have her. They're both, in, they're both unhinged. Honey, uh, Adele is a drunk, according to this. Adele is living the lush life. She's in Vegas, honey. What else do you do in Vegas? Adele hangovers have been brutal. <laughs> Slosh Shangshush is rolling in the deep with bouge binges. Party hardy songbird Adele has been boozing it up so much lately that she sparked fears for her health. I legitimately was so drunk, Lizzo said during an interview with Elvis Duran. Me and Adele were drinking so much that we didn't even really know what the categories were at this point. I had so many flasks at the, at like three flasks at the table. Well then, that was Lizzo who was drunk. They don't know the difference between Adele and Lizzo? Oh, honey, this is unhinged. Unhinged! Do you think this is best or worst dressed? How about Dumpy? Now, who do you think... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> she, should, she should drink Skinny Girl. I drink Skinny Girl, but listen. Who do you think... <laughs> I can't. That's, he wants to play celebrity squeeze with me. Can you identify the celebrity's face? We've squeezed and pulled an unrecognizable image. Honey, is this Lumina? Honey, is this Ozempic face? If this is an Ozempic face, well, that's clearly, isn't that Viola Davis? That's Viola Davis on Ozempic. That sure is, honey. That picture looked crazy. I was scared. Not as scary as this. That's me. Okay, let's see what this what this next one has to say. Oh my God, Goldie, are you okay? Is this a Zempic face? Is this a Zempic face? Or is this just is this just first lady first la first wives club face? Honey, look at this face. Cindy Crawford got her lips done. Do you even recognize her? She's posing in the shower because they, they get so dry she has to take a shower. Cindy reels in a trout pout. They, oh, they, they probably grow in the water. Like a, like a sea monkey. Former supermodel Cindy Crawford's former supermodel. Oh, no, honey. Once you're a supermodel and you're Cindy Crawford, you're always a supermodel. But she's got fish lips. What about these lips? I actually think Madonna's face looks good here. They need to leave her alone. You know, she's added more concert dates. More concert dates? Honey, where is she going to go? To the moon? What, what other place can she go? She's going everywhere. Oh, my God. Mermaid Relic is cruel fraud. Honey, is this the new Little Mermaid? This is, is this the Rotten Mermaid? Oh, my God. 
The relic was said to have healing powers. Well, it needs to have something, honey, because it certainly doesn't have looks. Ancient mummy claimed to bestow long life made with cloth, paint, and hair. That sentence made zero sense. That's a zempic face. I have to read this. this ancient mummy claimed to bestow long life made with cloth, paint, and hair. A 300-year-old mermaid mummy re revered in Japan for having miraculous powers of healing and immortality has been exposed as a fake. Is it from the Ashton Drake collection? That's just a baby doll? I want it. Honey, who cares about the Little Mermaid? Also, what about the Big Mermaid? That's discrimination. My ancestors brought it and kept it as a family treasure. It is said that if you eat the flesh of a mermaid, you will never die. Honey, the fish, the omegas. There is a legend a woman accidentally ate the flesh of a mermaid and lived for 800 years. Believing in the legend, people used to eat the scales of mermaid mummies. <gasps> oh my God, honey, remember, imagine the, the, the omegas in that. Who needs a Zempic when you've got mermaid mummies? They were all just eating mermaid flesh in the bathroom of the Dolby Theater last night. Oh, this is disgusting and I want it. I want this. Do you think they'll sell this for Ashton Drake? This mermaid? The Omegas. Honey, the Omegas didn't work on her. Why is it going to work on me? But why? This is what this is what Disney. Could you imagine this is the next? What this is the next Little Mermaid? Well, it can't be Disney's Little Mermaid because they have a new one. This could be um, the Little Mermaid for um, the uh, Sci-Fi Channel. Look at this. Look at her. Look at her. That just goes to show you. I don't think the Omegas work. She's she's wrinkled. She's she's dusty, honey. She's dusty. She's Tyler Moore. She's Mary. She's mermaid. She's dust. Well, I do want one. If Ashton Drake sells this, somebody better get on this and help me find this this mummy mermaid mummy. Cause I want that, honey. Forget about Coca-Cola boy. I want mermaid mommy. Mommy, you know, I don't feel comfortable just talking about other people and revealing their secrets on Total Trash Live without revealing some of my own scandalous behavior. You know, for instance, um, I once stole a um, Gem and the Holograms shoe out of a Kmart, you know, it was, I lost the shoe off my Gem and the Hologram doll. So I went into Kmart and opened up the package and took a Gem and the Hologram shoe. I'm so bad. We all have our secret. And I just thought I could share that with you. I steal people's hearts and I steal doll shoes. I am doll shoes. Doll hair, doll wig, she am for the night, for the rest of my life. Yeah, she's got doll shoes, she's got doll shoes, she really do. Where was Courtney Love? Also, this is um, Sharon Stone um, and her Instagram why wasn't she dressed up like this for the Academy Awards? Look at these lips, honey. Forget about Cindy Crawford's fish lips. Sharon Stone is doing it right. If you, if you don't have big lips, these are mermaid lips. I used to chew on the feet of my sister's baby dolls. When will Lumina be christened and claim the princess title like Lilibet? <gasps> Did you see that, yes, Lilibet has, christened, uh, has been christened and now she's Princess Lilibet. But they took away... Um, the uh, King Charles took away the house. So they don't have anywhere to live in London. But who wants to live there? Like, nobody wants them there. They can't go there. But um, Lumina will be christened. She will be christened soon. I think I should have a christening party in May, uh, simultaneously with the, um, the, uh, 
the crowning of Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles. You know, Camilla Parker Go Bowles is going from queen consort to just queen. Honey, and I have the perfect gift for, for Camilla Parker Bowles. It's this rotted fish. I'm going to send it to her. Congratulations, you did it. Those are surely Dina Martina lips. We all could use these. Kiss me. Kiss me in the morning. Well, thank you so much for the Total Trash Live um, Academy Award wrap up. Thank you for joining me. I have some exciting news that I will be saying, uh, sharing next week. Um, Total Trash Live will be back next week at 7 o'clock, and I have uh, some exciting news to share. Um, also, join my Patreon at Pete Zeiss because I'm going to be reading a vintage tabloid um, that, that I'll be posting on there. I have a couple of other ones. Also, the podcast will have an episode released this week. <laughs> But tune in next week for an important announcement, several important announcements. <laughs> oh, hooray for Hollywood. These little wigs in Hollywood. Who do you think was worse dressed? Oh, who was worse dressed? I think best dressed. I like Nicole Kidman. I like the other girl, the girl that's always crazy. She's always um, grabbing other people's dresses and she had like the bow and the leg. Oh, I liked Halle Berry's hair. Oh, that's my girl, honey. She, she came right from the call, the call center. And she made sure nobody got kidnapped and she was there to present. But the worst dress for me would be, um, oh, who did I hate's outfit? I was watching and I didn't like it. Oh, I don't remember now. Who did you hate? The lady in the white cone. Oh, I know who I didn't like was Elizabeth Banks. She couldn't even walk in it. Look like she was wearing a bed sheet. No, honey. No. Save the Croft Malik adjustable bed sheet. Save it for home when you watch it with your, you know, you know, a home popcorn party. That's not, you're going to wear that to the Dolby. Now, you could wear that to Dave and Buster's at the Dolby. Have you guys ever been to the, Do D the Dave and Buster's at the Dolby? Wednesdays are half off, honey. You gotta go. The whole area is unhinged. Highland and Holly, Highland and Hollywood. It's unhinged. It's askew. They need to show all the, all the, the real Hollywood. Lisa Renna. She wasn't there. Janelle looked great. Lisa Renna. Oh no, honey. Those are Lisa Renna lips that Sharon Stone has. But. You know, I wanted to go to the venue. You know, Madonna was in town, and she had a an official after party at her uh, manager's house. They have it every year, but I guess she didn't go last year. But guess what? Her eyebrows are back. So I guess she'll have eyebrows for the tour. I did like Gaga's outfit on the red carpet. I did not like ripped jeans. Ripped jeans are like, I won't even wear ripped jeans, like, you know, to like somebody's birthday party that I know, let alone an Academy Award. I should put on all that makeup to just take it off. I don't get it, honey. So she put on makeup and then got there and took off makeup. Now that's a mystery. Now that's a mystery. I don't know, honey. I, well, that's just Gaga. But at least we know who... At least we know who was on Ozempic. And that's the most important mystery that was solved. Of course I solved it. Only I can. Only I can solve it. Shania Twain looked like an HR Puff Stuff character. Shania Twain was there? Honey, I mean, where was this, the movie stars? Everybody else came, but except the movie stars. Where was Julia Roberts? Where was, um, was where was, um, Faye Dunaway to get the envelope confused? We need real stars. Where was Kate Winslet? Was she still underwater? Where was Leonardo DiCaprio? At a, at a playground with his new girlfriend? Where were the stars? I'll tell you where the stars were. Right here, honey. These are the stars. If you ever want to know what, who the real stars in Hollywood are, catch us on Mondays on Instagram Live. These are the real stars. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>